A week ago, Richard Starks got a call from his former general on the field who was terrified for his life due to the fact that he had knowledge of an invasion of a parallel universe that was Earth-like and the most scary part is that some very extremely rich persona were involved and that half of the intelligence community was also involved. But before he could reveal the names of those who were involved to her, he was shot in the head by a sniper. The professor and Rachel Stacks understood that the world intelligence had been compromised and no one can be trusted for the only person he can trust and work with is her and knowing that the professor had the ability to decipher people's personality he made it known to Rachel that he knows everything about her her parents her schooling her training and even her habits plus expertise and they flew to Russia for the hidden prophecy scroll in the Kremlin library. The secret society do exist and they are nefarious as you can imagine for empathy is not a part of their soul and the display of wickedness is a part-time game for their amusement for they see themselves superior to humans. They are the most richest and powerful personality to ever exist it's a bloodline and that bloodline they hold close to their hearts in which propel them to see themselves as the gauntlet of humanity's destiny and they control the deep core of their vicinity as they so please and no one can do anything about it in Moscow, Richard Stax thinks that the professor was overreaching if he thinks he can just walk into the Kremlin unscattered or without a scratch. But for the professor, it was a good time to come to the Kremlin for the president of Russia was out of the country which made things easy for he met with the general whom he is friends with, hypnotized him which made him faint and was taken to the hospital. And and he had already bribed everyone in the Kremlin to go into the library for 30 minutes. The general was the only one too difficult to bribe and that's why he was hypnotized and taken out of the way. The professor smashed a wall which led to an old monastery under the Kremlin library filled with scrolls but unfortunately for them someone had already Already taken the scroll of the hidden prophecy. The date the scroll was taken was before the library was sealed off many many years ago and that means it could be anywhere. So the professor tapped into his subconsciousness which were busy trying to solve how to dismantle the asteroid towards it but focused on more ways and possibilities of finding the scrolls of the hidden prophecy in which he finally came to a conclusion to check the records of the library to find where the scroll was written and that might lead him to the source of the scroll and when they checked the records they discovered in the logbooks which pointed them to the Himalayan temple so they decided to head for the mountains again the vehicles that arrived from the parallel earth had the same results of the passengers burning to a crisp and the head of the secret society see this as his failure to the bloodline and see himself as an unworthy leader and his son warned him that one more mistake or one more failure and he will be replaced. 